your preferred partner for custom software development and technology outsourcing. We offer state-of-the-art customized software development services that are client-centric, flexible, and secure to empower businesses. Hey, it's Rich Tarani. We're here at IT Expo 2021 in sunny South Beach, Miami, Florida. And we're thrilled to have you watching. Uh, Taylor Scott is with us. He's the CTO of ICAN. And ICAN makes some really interesting 3D holographic technology. Taylor, welcome to the show. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Uh, doing fantastic. I was blown away. Um, seeing your technology in action. Uh, a lot of people came up to me and, and just said how amazing it is. Like, why is it amazing? Like, how, how do you make it different? Like, what, what's in it that allows us to see what we see? That's a good question. We're really passionate about redefining 3D holograms. There's so many different types of volumetric systems. For us, it's about generating really powerful content very easily. So, unlike a standard system that's very locked down and you have to generate specific content, any content that you have on your mobile phone, photos, videos, as well as real-time communication can be immediately ported into the system and made in both volumetric uh, projection as well as spatial projection. Amazing, and we saw that yesterday. You guys ran uh, an Icon University Developer Conference here at the IT Expo Tech Super Show. Uh, standing room only, unbelievable demos and questions, and I actually um, was able to do a demo myself where face tracking allowed me to just turn my head and see a 3D image, and then if I, if I moved in, I could actually see uh, detail, and um, I, I could actually play a video game with my head and, and a mouse button, so it was pretty amazing, blew us away. How did it go from your standpoint? Fantastic, I, again, being able to, to engage in systems like that is so new for a lot of people. So we, we were, why we refer to it as perception tracking is for every single person that sits down at one of our devices, we're trying to best understand how their brain wants to integrate and to get the best possible perception. So we're constantly training our machines to have better holographic environments. So I love it. Seeing people's faces and the, the wows that we got is, was very encouraging. So you guys use this term called emotional engagement that I associate with couples therapy, and but you use it in your marketing and you seem to do it successfully. Can you tell us what that is? That's awesome. So it's a metric that we call emotional engagement per frame. And what we're trying to measure is the amount of attention that someone wants to have in a holographic space versus a 2D projected space like a phone or a computer. And it's very interesting. What we're trying to gauge is how naturally the prefrontal cortex blends into the holographic environment, spatially as well as volumetrically. And it's really beautiful. Specifically, you can actually see expressions in people's faces. We even do tests with young children to see how they respond to the holographic environments. And they actually have a stronger emotional reaction to things, even in a communication standpoint, in a hologram than they do on a mobile phone. So as you can imagine, you think about Zoom calls and conferences really leveling the game when it comes to the emotional connection. Okay, okay, I'm just, I'm just trying to picture my kids more engaged than they are, are now with their phone. So you guys, uh, just congrats on a success, a 5G success you guys had with the government. Um, I don't want to spill the beans, you can, you can tell us what it was, but uh, this 5G implementation is pretty novel and unique. Um, tell us a little bit about that win and then why your technology is unique to 5G, or not unique, but it really can take advantage of 5G, unlike other technology out there. I have a great question. Again, for us, we were passionate about building for 5G, but again, we were building it before 5G really existed. So we built it to be capable on a 4G network, and I think it, it's, it's perfect for the current state of 5G because a lot of people were talking about it, but it's somewhat ethereal to the average consumer. So for us to provide a radical new service that's capable of being on a 4G network, it's really clear where we can go on a 5G network. What we're doing with the military, being able to go on millimeter spectrum and being able to have massive amounts of rendering data go to multiple devices to give you x-ray vision inside of inventory objects, it's had phenomenal success. And so now that can be brought to the consumer with the same device that they were using on a 4G network. So I always thought holograms would be perfect for the Jedi Council, like it, you know, that's, that's where we're going to see this technology, but now, now we're seeing it in consumer, we're seeing it in enterprise. Tell us a little bit about, um, you, you guys are, are really showing business applications of holograms. Within business, what sectors can take advantage of what you guys are doing? I, I, you think of how many sectors rely on visual stimuli. I mean, it's, it's everything. For us, what we're really excited about, especially from just the, the recent debut of the ARC, the large-scale holographic device, everything from architecture to research and development to 3D design, more specifically, we're really excited about our pursuit in the medical field. So there's been a lot of increased interest in being able to, to visualize as well as uh, co-enter environments to be able to view scans in a holographic environment. So really, there, there's a, the, a plethora of systems. It's really limitless and endless as far as what we can change. 
Now, um, I know your company well. I've, I've kept track of you since you know the inception, and you know you're doing things differently because you have great technology for for visualization, but you also have a developer focus because you know that content is king, and 3D content, holographic content is even greater than king, whatever whatever that is. Uh, but you're also doing something like a social network as well because you have this unique content and nothing really exists to take advantage of it. I'm just curious, how are you dealing with security and cybersecurity in this new world of holograms and social and, and where you guys are headed? Absolutely, we're, we're incredibly aggressive about making sure that every piece of intellectual property or personal property that's put onto a social site, really anything is incredibly well protected from an encryption side and a security side. Fortunately, unlike a lot of other uh, I would say hyper-complicated systems where they wind up doing massive projections that are a huge security risk. We're going mobile and we're going private. So we do allow people to have their own private environment and their own private system. So all the same privacy policies that they're able to have now from a very secure standpoint immediately merge over to the volumetric and holographic environment. Excellent, is there anything else we should know? Uh, get a rise, it's coming. Tell us what that is. The Rise is the holographic platform for the mobile the environment. So everybody will be able to use it as an accessory for their uh, mobile phones. So I saw, I mean, it's, it's a while back, but I actually saw a demo of it. It basically attaches to your phone, and so anything you see on your phone, you can look above your phone, and it's literally floating in air above your phone. Precisely, and you can real-time communicate all of the photos and videos. You think about all the content you have, memories, everything. We automatically convert that with our software, and you can relive those memories over and over from a multiple uh, multiplicity of views, as well as share it with others in their own volumetric environment, and of course, real-time communicate. And, and I know that we, we're kind of ending, wrapping this, but I just have to make the comment that prior to being able to do what you're doing, or prior to this happening, you really had to go to like a studio, you had to go to a specific area to create holographic content, right? 3D content. Absolutely, yeah. We, we definitely didn't want people to have to walk into a, a, you know, a room with 60 high-speed cameras to get volumetric content, so we use a, a unique form of synthetic vision to take the existing technology that you have on your phone, as well as some other unique tools, and to create your own volumetric content real-time, day one, the minute you get your rise in the mail. Thanks for being here. Nice to see you.